Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 463. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 458 to 465. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to add data to a chart. We have uh, weeks and products and some data. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for the default chart on this sheet, Alt F1. And so we have our week one through week three. Uh, if you don't have a dynamic uh, chart, either with the offset function or with uh, a table feature, you can easily add new data. Let's see four ways to do this. I'm going to come down here and just type week four. And let's say we had 23, 12, and 45. Okay, so here's our chart. And uh, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. One quick and easy way, in earlier versions, before 2007, you could actually click and drag. And when the gray box was all the way around the chart, you could actually just drop it. But you can't do that anymore. Control C, this is how you do it now. And then you click on the edge and Control V. And just like that, that uh, extra series is added. I'm going to control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, anyway, we got that um, out of there. Sometimes when you copy and paste, it doesn't add it correctly. So watch this. You can actually copy, click on the edge of the chart, and go up to paste special and it gives you complete control. Uh, new points, new series, whether the Y is in rows or columns. R, Y, right here, these Y values are actually in rows, so that's correct. And series name in first column, category X labels in first row. So paste special just gives you some uh, different options. I'm going to click cancel. So. Uh, that's three ways. Now, this final way, I would never do this, but it is possible. Um, let's click on this chart, and let me show you something. The arrow keys do something different. Once, it, once the, the chart is selected, it cycles through the chart elements. So there it's got the legend, uh, and there it's got the axis. Down there are the other axis, the uh, lines. But watch this, it'll cycle through. And if you've never noticed, there's a formula up here. You can see, boom, one, two, three. It's got three different formulas. Watch this, I'm going to copy. I'm going to click on the chart. And now I'm clicking on the chart, right? I'm just going to come up here to the formula bar and paste. And then I'm going to edit it. Okay. Uh, we want uh, the the name here, week 4. It's not in 12, it's in 13. This is the name that shows up here. This is uh, the second argument is the X. The th third argument is the Y. And then this last value tells you uh, which series. We, all ha we have three. Now I'm going to change this to a 4. And we have the right uh, label. We change that to 13. Uh, these labels right here Oh no, these are the x values, so we actually need to change this. So from uh, B12 to B13, B9, oh no, these are the labels, I'm sorry. Right here, the x, the, the x always comes first. Uh oh, now I've uh, messed this up. Oh, no problem, I'm going to use my arrow keys. Boop, 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 boop. One, you could see the one, two, three, and then four. Got to make sure this right, B9 to D9. We got that. It's just uh, this one right here. It's not B12, it's B13. B13, you can see why no one would ever do it this way. And now uh, you can uh, hit Enter. And sure enough, it uh, picks up that data. OK, so four different ways. Probably the easiest is just copy, click on the edge, and paste. Uh, all right, we'll see you next trick.